हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड यू आर वाचिंग द अल्टीमेट इंग्लिश टीचर एंड लेक्चरर टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टोरी द डिस्कवरिंग टर्ड द सागा कंटिन्यूज बाय ए आर विलियम्स द समरी ऑफ द स्टोरी Discovering Turd the Saga Continues Summary Discovering Turd the Saga Continues is a chapter that gives us an in-depth insight of Tutankhamun the last ruler of the powerful pharaoh's dynasty in Egypt he was a teenager when he died and his death was a mystery some speculated that he was murdered he ruled in Egypt and its empire for centuries In 1922 his tomb was discovered by Howard Carter a British archaeologist after 80 years he was taken from his resting place for CT scan which offers to solve the mystery of his life and death by creating a forensic reconstruction Tut's father or grandfather Amenhotep III was a very powerful pharaoh who ruled over a period of 40 years. His son Amenhotep IV thrived him and began the strangest period in the history of Egypt. He promoted the worship of Aten, the son of Desk. He changed his name to Akhenaten meaning servant of the Athens he also moved the religious capital from Thebes to the new city of Akhenaten called Amarna further he attacked Amun a god smashed his images and closed his temples another mysterious ruler succeeded him who died soon next to Tutankhamun also known as Tut sat on the throne and ruled for 9 years he worshiped god amun in the old ways however he died mysteriously when tut's mummified body was discovered he was laid with lots of gold wealth and everyday items like a bronze razor games clothes cases of food and wine carter discovered him after searching for many years After researching on the treasure he decided to investigate his three nested coffins some parts of the turd's treasure in the tomb were already looted His tomb was rock cut 26 feet underground which had wall paintings on the outer coffin turd's face was gilded in the first coffin he found the garland of olives lotus petals and corn flowers it showed that he was buried in the months of march or april the third and final coffin put carter into trouble the resins used to cement tut to the bottom of the solid gold coffin was hardened enough making it impossible to move he put the coffin in the sun for several hours in hope for the resins to loosen up but it did not work finally he removed the resins with the help of the chisel and hammer Carter felt he did not have any other choices as to if he had not cut the mummy from limb to limb tribes would have looted the gold his men first removed his head then they cut off every joint after removing the body parts they placed it on the layer of sand in a wooden box and put it at the original place In 1968 the mummy was x-rayed by an anatomy professor revealed few facts his breastbone and the front ribs were missing later on january 5 2009 tut was taken for ct means computed tomography scan which takes hundreds of x-rays and creates a three dimensional image the night of the scan the workmen carried his body from the tomb in a box They climbed ramp and stairs and lifted it on a hydraulic trailer that held the scanner. The scanner stopped working which paused the procedure. After using a pair of spare fans, the scan was finally done. After 3 hours, his body was taken back to his tomb where his body is resting in peace. 
Students, don't forget to subscribe the channel and push the bell icon so that you will get all the education related videos in this channel at first. Thank you for watching.